I just have so much I want to share with you guys. I'm shook. I love this corner so much. It is so cozy. Oh, Damn. oh my goodness. We're doing good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. It has been quite a minute since I've dusted off my vlog camera. I'm not gonna lie, it's been like a month since I last vlogged, which was not the plan, but anyway, here we are back at it again. I'm currently in our bedroom, the house. So we've been basically living here for about a month and things are slowly but surely getting settled in. It's been quite the process, just like doing up little little bits and bobs and projects and stuff around the house. The last vlog I posted, I believe, was like an empty house tour, showing you around and kind of explaining like a bunch of the updates that we wanted to make to the house. So we have made quite a few little updates and upgrades. So I'm gonna show you everything that we've done so far that I can remember anyway, um, that's new with the house. So I'm gonna show you all that in this vlog. And then also today is the 4th of July. So we're gonna have a little family barbecue tonight. And I'm actually about to head to the grocery store to get like everything that we need to make burgers and hot dogs and just a good old fashioned American barbecue. So it should be a really fun day. It does feel super weird to be vlogging right now. I don't know why, I guess I, I just haven't talked to a camera in a long time. So it just like always feels awkward getting back into it, but I'm excited to get back into the groove of vlogging, posting lots because I just have so much I wanna share with you guys. I'm so excited to finally be in this home and like making it around has been such a fun process. So I'm excited to share everything with you. And I gotta run to the grocery store right now, but when I get back, I will show you some updates. get copyright for this music but I need to show. Josh made a Biscoff cheesecake. It looks insane. I'm shook. I just paused the music for copyright but my mom made this classic Velveeta Rotel. Sorry I'm trying to get a chip. Velveeta Rotel sausage cheese dip. This is like such a classic. It's usually like a Super Bowl, Super Bowl snack. Mm. I feel like if you grew up in the US and probably especially the South, you will have had this before. It's so good. Mom, is this a Southern thing? Or just like an American thing? Southern. What do you call this dip? Just Velveeta dip? It's called a Velveeta Rotel dip. Velveeta Rotel dip, okay. With Jimmy Dean in it. It's ridiculous. And you just leave it in this crock pot to kind of stay warm and melty. I've never made burgers in my life. My mom showed me how to do it today. So that's exciting because you're about to go on the grill. Butter in that corn. I have not had corn on the cob in a very, very long time. Go ahead and put a little sea salt on it. Yum. We still don't have any patio furniture, but hopefully soon. It's a little hot anyway. So on the way to the grocery store, it was like crazy dark skies, like literally almost black. It was so wild. Um, and I thought it was gonna be really stormy for the rest of the day, but thankfully it was just one of those classic Florida, Florida rain afternoon showers basically. And so it rained really hard for like 20 minutes and then it went away. And by the time I came out of the grocery store, it was literally blue skies again. But we're still gonna eat inside because we don't have our patio furniture yet which is a shame, but also it's so hot outside and kind of, you know, mosquitoes and stuff out there. So we, we probably won't get a ton of use um, of our patio until the fall anyway. So it's all good. I wanna show some of the kitchen updates or like point them out, I guess. Obviously, if you watched the empty house vlog, we did not have any window treatments in here. So we did put in some light filtering blinds, which, you know, they definitely do the trick. They let in a lot of light, which is what we wanted, but it makes it so that people can't see in from the outside. The plan here is, cause you can see the kind of not so cute tops of the curtains. Josh is gonna build a little wooden box frame situation to go over all of them so that it'll hide it underneath. And it'll, it'll also kind of warm up the space and make it look a little nicer in here. Sorry, it's kind of backlit so you can't see super well, but yeah, there's gonna be 
nice wooden boxes to hide um, all the rolls. It's really chaotic in here with everything on the counter, but we also replaced the kitchen pools, which I think made such a massive difference. I did a little before and after on Instagram stories. We found these on Amazon and they were really inexpensive. So I will link those below as well as like anything else that I can link for you guys. We also got this really cute kitchen runner rug that I really like. We also put the kitchen um, pools on here. These are just the bigger version, like a longer version. And I think they look so good and they've like transformed our pantry. And yesterday Josh put a fresh coat of paint on these doors, which is nice. It just made them look a lot more nice and fresh. Um, also, currently we have our water um, dispenser in here. This is what the pantry looks like right now. So we do want to get, like I said in the first video, wooden shelves instead of these wire racks, but that'll just happen eventually. So yeah, our water is in here and there is an outlet in here, but it's not the right kind of outlet that we need. So right now the wire is going around to the outside here, which is not ideal because we can't fully close the door all the way, which is super annoying. So Josh is gonna figure out a way to put that outlet inside the pantry, which would be lovely because we really don't need it on the outside here. Um, what else is new? Okay, one of the biggest changes we made in the house, probably the biggest, like most dramatic difference you can tell is the color of this little dining nook. Um, we changed it. It was like kind of a black, like really, really dark gray black color before. And we decided to sort of brighten it up and do this grayish green color, which I absolutely love. It's called a French gray. Um, and it's by the it's by the brand Faro and Ball, but we actually just used like a, what's it called, Valspar paint, and they were able to color match like exactly. It really brightened up the house because you can see this color if you're sitting in the living room, like on the couch, you can see it. So I feel like it's just really brightened up the space. It made it a lot cozier in here and I love it. I just started putting some plates out, but I didn't finish. I got distracted, so I'm gonna do that now and then we can carry on with more house updates. Also, we did um, change out the fridge, which I think I mentioned in our empty house vlog and so 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 happy with this it's so much it just feels so nice to be able to get ice anytime i want because the previous bridge did not have an ice maker so that is amazing okay the living room has not changed too much i don't think we just put a rug down what else has changed about this oh we did decide to keep um this swivel chair in the corner and i love this corner so much it is so cozy and cute obviously this came with the couch but since it's like a modular couch, you can just take it off and it's a swivel chair. So it's very comfy and we love it here. We also got this really cute lamp from Target that I really love. And the lampshade actually matches the curtains that we did in here like perfectly. I'm <laughs> just kind of funny, it wasn't planned at all, but I love it when stuff like that happens. And then this is from Decineo. They have so many cute prints and I saw Emma Leger had this one. And so I was influenced, but I just think it's really fun and. I love all the colors. It brings a lot of color and life to the space. We're gonna add some more stuff to this wall. I think this is gonna like shift over and maybe down a little bit. And then we're gonna add a couple more um, pieces to this wall, but that's how it's coming along so far. The TV is up. Can't remember if the TV was up in the last vlog that I showed you, but TV, sound bar, love. And then these are our curtains that we just finally got pretty recently and they're just from ikea so they're very inexpensive but they're just nice and light and airy and super light filtering so they still let lots of light through um i can show you better probably whenever it's nighttime so it's not so backlit but i really like them i forget what they're called but i think maybe oh no they're called rivta the rivta curtains and they're perfect they're very light filtering airy not too like heavy looking in our space and we just have a little black um curtain rod up there okay coming to our bedroom we got curtains which is so nice we have blackout shades behind these which we almost put down at night time oh hello <laughs> what are you doing Relaxing. we found them at home goods and i really need to find one more pack so that we can finish doing that side uh but yeah also, mom and I and Josh worked on this yesterday. We hemmed them yesterday with hemming tape. Uh, so that was an adventure. This one has yet to be done. We're gonna do that one probably tomorrow. These are our new nightstands that we got. 
I got some cute throw pillows from Target. Actually, most of the furniture in here is from Target. These nightstands are Target, the lamps are Target. I love these lamps. We also have them at the beach condo. Josh just hung up this mirror today and I like having a mirror here, but we're gonna change it out for one that's a little bit cuter. This is just one that we had in storage from our Chatterton house, which is not terrible or anything, but I just wanna get a cuter one, maybe something that's like arched, give it a little bit more shape right here. Um, and then, oh, this is a little painting that we found at Target that I absolutely adore. I really wanna put it above our bed. Josh thinks we need something bigger above the bed, which I see his point, but at the same time, I think it could look really nice right now even by itself, so we'll figure that out. Okay, I think that's all the updates I have to share right now. Uh, barbecue is yeah, starting, barbecue. family is arriving. <laughs> Never looked more American in your life. This wasn't planned. Look at that shell gasoline <laughs> Bronco. <laughs> That's an American boy if I've ever seen one. Cooking cheeseburgers. Yeah. He's had his American citizenship for two years and look at him. Oh crap. What? Is it gonna rain? Oh <gasps> uh oh. Hopefully not too crazy. I think it's just gonna sprinkle for a little bit. Okay, what's the burger update? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, it's quite soft. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to cheers it. Have you never watched a YouTube video before? <laughs> Is it amazing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Only the best cheesecake. I've ever tasted in my life. Hello, it is the next day now and hopefully it's the day that you're watching this because I've already edited this video up until this point and I just needed to like end the vlog and I really wanted to show you this really cute package that I got from Brewmate before I wrapped up this vlog since it is a 4th of July vlog and this is like the cutest 4th of July package that I've ever received. It's so cute. So. I want to show you, but yeah, I'm still looking like a bum. I've had a very nice, relaxed, no makeup day. I got a lot of work done this morning, and then I pretty much have just been editing for the rest of the day. And my battery's flashing, so let me show you as fast as I can this little package. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just am a big fan of Roommate. I've worked with them a lot on like the creator side, not necessarily as an influencer, but they just sent me my first PR package. So I really wanted to share it with you because, are you kidding? 
Look how cute. I love this collection so much. We didn't get the chance to use them yesterday because we were just at home all day. But if we'd gone somewhere or like on the boat or something, it would have been so perfect to take these. They remind me so much of those like rocket popsicles that are so good that we had when we were kids. And I just think it's such a cute collection. It's called the Red, White, and Brew Collection, which is so cute. And I checked the website. It looks like this one, I believe, is still in stock. I'm not sure about the other one. So if you're interested, I just think it's so cute and summery and patriotic. So just wanted to share that with you. I meant to share these yesterday, but it totally slipped my mind with all the, all the chaos yesterday. Like I said, I just finished editing this vlog, like, up to this point. And um, I noticed that I forgot to show you just a couple things, like updates of the house that I just have gotten so used to that I didn't think to share with you. But it's just like little kind of boring things, so it probably doesn't matter that much. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing all the updates. We have a long ways to go. <laughs> Obviously, I'm... Um, if you remember the empty house vlog, if you watched that one, I was like over explaining everything. I'm like, this is going to change. This is going to change. This is our plan for this. And... It's nice to like know the plans and the updates, but at the same time, the house is great as it is. And obviously with any house, even if it's not like a brand new house, you're kind of always wanting to like update things and rearrange and redecorate. So that's the plan with this house. Like nothing is quite perfect yet, but it's all good. We're getting there. And it just feels so nice to have like little things done. Like just having the curtains up is like so life changing. So yeah. We're enjoying the process, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to be posting again. I'm going to post a lot more regularly now, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming up. And I will see you guys in another one very, very soon. Bye!